What's up everybody, it's Tomasz here. Git is the important part of every developer's work. Today I'm gonna show you the basic operations on Git. Before we continue, if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe. So let's start. First basic operation on Git repository is cloning the repository. Cloning means that you are creating a local copy of the entire repository. So to do this, you got to issue a command. And then the parameter is link to repository. You can find it here. We are cloning by HTTPS. And we have a folder named after this repository name. So let's modify a file. Now we can check the status of repository. and we see uh, the information about modified file. To commit our changes, we need uh, to add this modified file uh, to our commit. So we can do this for the single file, or if there are more files modified, we can add them in groups, for example, using extension. Now we see that uh, those files are ready to be committed. So to commit changes, we are using command. And we got to provide commit message. This is a very important step and ask your team leader about uh, what this com commit message should look like. It should describe actually uh, some changes that, that were made, so in my case it may be like What is the status now? What we see, we are ahead of master now by this one commit so what we got to do now is to push changes uh, to the server. So we are using here not the password for our GitHub account, uh, but a special personal access token uh, so search for another video that will explain how to create such a token. Okay, so uh, we push changes, let's see, on a GitHub repo. So this is the last commit here. And also we see the same commit message describing the folder that was modified. What we did is unfortunately not right. We should avoid committing into master. So the right way is to create a branch and commit our changes into those into this branch. So let's try to do this. To create a branch so I am creating a branch named feature. Now we can modify our files. Check the status. Now 
Now we see we are on branch feature. So let's try to push it. Git is uh, giving us a hint how this comment should look like. So to push and create a new branch on GitHub. So let's try to do this. Successful. So let's check what we have here. So now we see this is the latest branch we created. So with that branch, you can, for example, create the pull request and merge those changes into master, but in a proper way with code review. Thank you very much. That's it for today. And I hope to see you soon again.